Today's gospel might be a little too personal for some of us who live beachside in Daytona, especially on the heels of hurricane season. But luckily, Christ isn't really admonishing our choice of beachside living, and we certainly can relate to the importance of a solid foundation for our faith. Many of us learn very early on, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Of course, as we grow, we might need a slightly more specific reason to believe the necessary foundational teaching of God's love for us. One of my very favorite passages by Father Richard Rohr brings some much appreciated support to this rock solid foundation. The great thing about God's love is that it's not determined by the object. God does not love us because we are good. God loves us because God is good. It takes our whole lives for that to sink in, along with lots of trials and testing of divine love because that's not how human love operates. Human love is largely determined by the attractiveness of the object. When someone is nice, good, not high maintenance, physically attractive, important or has a nice personality, we find it much easier to give ourselves to them or to like them. That's just the way we humans operate. We naturally live in what I call the meritocracy of quid pro quo. We must be taught by God and grace how to live in an economy of grace. Divine love is a love that operates in a quite unqualified way, without making distinctions between persons and seemingly without such a thing as personal preference. Anyone who receives divine love feels like God's favorite in that moment. We don't even have the capacity to imagine such a notion until we have received it. Divine love is received by surrender instead of any performance principle whatsoever. Today, let's take a moment and ask ourselves, are we strengthening the foundation of our faith by recognizing God's love in our lives every day?